Alright guys, welcome to my little guide video for Bandit Canyon. The annoying map where you start on the hill, and so does your opponent. And it's, well, for me, it's easy to find a hunt. For you guys, maybe not so much. It's a strange map, this one. And one where weird proxies are pretty viable if your opponent is going to try and play as greedy as I am here today with a low ground hunt commitment early on. But at the same time, it can put you ahead slightly in terms of greed. So. Down a second hunt, maybe even gonna find a third. Oh, he's not doing anything. So for now, I'm just gathering up. Might even commit to hunting dogs. Actually, no. yeah, probably will after I throw down the barracks. Already found hunts. So, hunts? On this map, are a bit of a pain in the ass, really. Sometimes you can get lucky and have two really easy ones just outside your high ground, just like that. Sometimes you got two or three really scattered around down here, and they can be a bit hard to find, particularly if you're not a Norse player, because Norse have that double scout, so that's really nice for them as well. I'm gonna go for some weird little proxy. Now, most people would probably play something a little bit more sens uh, sensible. But I'm not sensible. Hunting dogs as well. Takes me up to seven. So, often time, and most people, would just put the bags down here to help wall off the wood line, or just here under the TC range to really just help keep it safe. I'm going to go for a proxy, just as a bit of an example to show you that it is. A, a re I, in my opinion, I think it's a reasonable map for proxies. And the resource spawns make it a bit difficult to really play terribly greedy until you actually throw down a second town center on the low ground and have the units out to secure it. So. If you can get in first and deal some damage, you can really swing the tide in your favour. One too many villagers there. I can take this. So I will. Now this would be much better if I was Kelp, actually. But I suppose I can just keep mass producing spears until I can afford to age up. Play super greedy. But yeah, guys. With Bandit Canyon, it's that funny one where the players spawn on the hills. It, it is a map that can actually be a good macro map. Because you can wall this off quite easily on both sides of your map. You've got usually a much nicer wood line than this on this side. A good wood line on this as well. And your opponent the same. So there is a nice amount of starting resources up on this high ground. But at the same time, in order to actually get any hunts and get any quick food gathering, you've got to commit to the low ground. And you can make it a bit difficult. And second town centers are often sniped on this map as well. So you've got to really be wary of that, or when people go and throw one down, the hunt on the low ground that they first take, or the berries that they next move to, that gets sniped because their opponent just opens with quick cavalry, so these are all things you've got to keep in mind. But yeah, like I said, it's actually quite a big map with quite a fair bit of resources on it, so if you can wall it up, get a market over here in one of these corners, or even chuck it up here and chuck your second town centre over down here in the corner, if depending on the spawns. Or vice versa, put it over here, wall this off, 
have your second town center over here somewhere. You can actually play a pretty greedy map, I think. Oops. I sort of stuffed up my build order here. But yeah, you can play a fairly macro oriented strategy with going to the low ground, then throwing down a quick second TC, even doing it off berries, and then throwing down the quick, quick second TC, or playing something quite cheesy with low ground aggression. Really force your opponent to run dry on the high ground with being stuck to only being able to gather up there. Remember guys, if you are going to go for early aggression, once you start putting pressure on and give it away and force your opponent to actually respond to it from his macro strategy, keep applying that pressure without actually losing stuff because that's how you're actually going to get the most value out of it. We're going to work. That's my second town center. Really hurt my opponent before he can get the ball rolling because he's stuck on the high ground and hasn't really got a lot of units. But yeah, guys, that's just a little walkthrough of. Oh, and thank you for the follow. Just a little walkthrough of Bandit Canyon. And I'm gonna go move to the next map. Thanks.